Hi, I'm Ken Jr. and welcome to Train World TV. Here you'll find the latest and greatest in model trains. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new to our channel, we're glad you're here and I invite you to click the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you'll never miss a video. Now, we'd also love to send you exclusive deals and special announcements that you won't find anywhere else. So be sure to sign up for our emails, TW text, and stay connected with us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Now, you can find all the links in the description box below or trainworld.com. And without further ado, enjoy today's video. All right, and good evening, everybody, and welcome to Train World TV. And we have a very special action-packed night tonight, um, and we'll go around the horn. But the big topic tonight is Lionel and in HO Trains. Lionel HO Trains, new catalog, brand new catalog, brand new product for HO Scale. Uh, you heard it here, HO Scale, Lionel Trains, they're going to be... Uh, uh, synonymous pretty soon. So uh, we're, we're really excited to see some of these great new products out here. And we also have uh, Tony Cook from uh, Model Railroad News, Model Train Resource. How you doing, Tony? I'm doing good, Ken. How you doing? All right. Not too bad. Always great to have you on. And uh, we also have Ryan and Megan from Lionel ready to talk about the Lionel 2024 HO catalog. How are you both doing tonight? Uh, great to be back here on uh, Train World. Uh, always fun, especially when we're talking uh, HO Gage. Thanks for having us. Always a pleasure to be on your shows. All right, thank you so much. And Ken Senior is on as well. I know it's an I know it's an important show. Years <laughs> <laughs> on because he's never on the shows that I'm on, so I'm uh, always yeah. This is kind of like, you know, McLean Stevenson hosting the Tonight Show is when I'm on. But we got, we got the number <laughs> no, one guy no. here tonight. <laughs> but, but I'm more of an old gauge guy, Lionel guy, uh, for sure. But uh, the, the HO stuff, you're the expert, Tony, for sure. And uh, Kenny, you you know all that stuff. And uh, if you need me on, just ask. I'll be there. I'll be there. But uh, I tell you, they, we're, tonight is like groundbreaking, you know. The last the Lionel uh a catalog had some eight show stuff in it that was special stuff and the pre-orders were just phenomenal and uh that stuff didn't even come out yet it's like gonna half of it sold out already so the stuff that we're gonna show you tonight it's like yeah if you've been sitting on the sidelines you got you're definitely gonna have to get some of this stuff they just there's nobody else in the industry that does this nobody and it's uh it's just uh i'm i'm real excited about all this ho stuff you guys are going to be making it's great stuff great stuff and and we got a, a lost and found raffle for tonight um we actually found the lionel t-shirt that we're going to raffle off so i i just stumbled upon this um but it's a size medium so it's probably good for uh, a skinny uh, uh, young person or uh, maybe uh, even a, a child, you can slip it on as like a, a night t-shirt, but uh, it's a medium. I believe it's adult. I'm not sure if it's youth, but uh, so it's a, uh, uh, I think it's a t-shirt. T-shirt. I, I wear I wear a medium, Ken. I, I look muscular when I wear it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so put, put in the chat, hashtag Lionel HO trains and where you're from so we could say hello. 
um, and we'll, we'll pick out a winner for tonight. But uh, put it in the chat, and we'll pick someone out for this nice raffle. And uh, you could either give it away or keep it for yourself. And uh, it's a beautiful Lionel T-shirt, really nice, and uh, 115th anniversary uh, for their shirt. So it's a nice giveaway. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> Joe is out on the shirt. He, he'd have to use it as a gift. <laughs> you never know, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think you're alone, uh, Joe. I don't think you're alone. <laughs> All right. So uh, now we want to talk about this HO catalog, and it's brand new. So uh, I'm not sure if uh, Ryan or Megan, if you want to kick it off. Um, I'm actually going to let Megan do most of the driving tonight. Um, Megan is our uh, project manager in charge of the HO line, and she's put a lot of hard work into this. So I will, as always, because I you know, like to talk a lot, uh, I will definitely chime in when needed. But Megan, I, you've got this. I'm going to let you run with it. Yeah, great. Um, you know, kicking off with that great cover there. As you know, 2024 is a, a big Polar Express anniversary, and... Uh, if it's Lionel, it's got to be Polar Express. So we are kicking off some really cool new items um, for, for those who have the HO Polar Express set and want to add on. We've got so many great options for you now. Starting off with some new passenger coaches. We've actually invested some new tooling to get some new um, passenger coaches for the um, HO set. Um, we have a combine car, a family car, and a battery car, um, all new to add. We also have um, a special edition for the 20th anniversary um, as well. I noticed there's no observation. Uh, only in the set you can get the observation? Correct. The observation yeah, coach is included in the set. Okay. Okay. And then we have some additional add-on cars um, that are currently in stock that you can um, get for the coaches. Um, but then we also have some special edition um, box cars celebrating the 20th anniversary as well. Um, and for the first time for Lionel HO, we actually have a sound box car. Um, so for the 20th anniversary Polar Express sound box car, um, that'll have the sound of the, the bell from the Polar Express movie, but, but only if you believe um, will you hear that uh, bell as it travels around your track? Um, I believe. I believe. Nice. Um, it does have an on-off switch for the bell sound, and it is powered via track power. Oh, nice. Nice. And that and is a first. Didn't you say, Megan, that's a first for, first for us in the HO line? Yeah, in HO. That's very neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're, and I'm assuming these graphics are going to be like the O scale, where you just downsize it to HO scale. And in O scale, I mean, the graphics on these box cars and just the way Lionel now kind of, I, I don't know how you make it screen print or laser print, whatever you do, it just looks so vivid and it, it just like pops out. They're gorgeous uh, box cars now. And to, to get that kind of uh, screen graphics on an HO box car is just unbelievable. They came out beautifully. These are all um, UV printed and the level of detail, even with a smaller car, um, it, they've come out so well. The graphics are so vibrant and they look really, really nice. So I can't wait for everyone to see these in person. Um, you know, we'll have some of the Polar Express items from the previous catalogs deliver in here soon uh, with the movie art box car being a prime example of just how wonderful these graphics turned out. Um, so you know, any of these boxers that you see here with these great printed graphics um, are going to be really stellar on a Polar Express layout. Mm -hmm. all right. And uh, Megan, well, I just want to point out to all the uh, HO operators and collectors out there that any of this Polar Express that says 20th anniversary, it's a one shot deal. They're not going to make it next year. It's just this year. That's it. Whatever they commit to is it. So make sure you get your pre-orders in. Because this stuff is going to disappear very fast. Absolutely. And um, everything that you see in the catalog here is a mixture of products that we have shown in the last in the previous catalogs, um, some small in-stock items as well as new. Um, so you definitely want to be checking to make sure that you get your orders in on these because um, some of them will actually be here very soon. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, this is probably one of my favorite pages in the catalog. Um, as you know, Lionel has a really big presence in Halloween items and O-Gage, and we're finding that people have been asking for it in Ancho as well. Um, so we're excited to, to bring out a true Halloween full-on set with uh, great Halloween sounds, Halloween graphics. Um, you have the, the gondola with the um, black dark forest tree load in it. Um, these will have all kinds of great custom spooky sounds. We already uh, recorded those and sent those off. They're going to be really cool. Um, and then to marry that off, you also have a Halloween reefer that'll have um, some really great decoration on it. Um, we did the Salem Cider Works reefer in the last catalog, and those did really well. So we wanted to let people start kind of collecting these really fun, whimsical Halloween reefers that have... Um, you know, inspired by real brands, but, um, you know, putting that Halloween touch on it. And then we had to make sure that we did a Halloween sound box car as well. Um, what's really cool about the graphics on this one, it kind of feels like you're peering in on a Halloween scene where all the ghosts are, are wandering through like a haunted mansion type situation. Um, so those will have some really uh, spooky looping Halloween sounds as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you say Halloween a lot, but a lot of it doesn't say the word Halloween on it. So you can run it all the time and not feel like it's the wrong time of year to do it. It's just uh, cool, spooky, fun stuff. That's what it is. Absolutely. It, you know, we took inspiration from um, Sleepy Hollow and Transylvania and, yeah. uh, you know, all those classic uh, Halloween stories to really have some fun with all these different pieces. Mm -hmm. And, and the great part about this is Lionel kind of knows what's successful in O-Scale. Yeah. And in O-Scale, Halloween has just been trending year after year. And r really, uh, <laughs> Meg and I know you love Halloween, but it, it, it's it's exciting. It's different. You know, it's a different layout scene you could uh, put together. So these are really cool, unique trains you could swap out uh, for, for Halloween time. And for H-O-Scale, it, it's really uh, not not that big. I, they, they make figures and certain buildings but for train wise there's really never really any companies that do it in ho scale so lionel's kind of uh now on the forefront of that which is uh exciting news yeah i'm looking anyway. forward to seeing what people do with these and i i uh, hope that as people start to build out build out like uh halloween train layouts please send me pictures i need to see these because I, I know that people come up with some really cool stuff and um if you add this onto your layout i think you're really going to enjoy it yeah uh, Ryan, Megan, what do you think about as we get closer to Halloween, we all uh, get dressed up in costumes and promote Halloween stuff on uh, online here? <laughs> Absolutely. That sounds like fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do a train show uh, with our club every year in September, October. So one of these is definitely coming my way. It'll be a hit with the with the kids at the show. You know, you're, you're sort of at the, the start of train season with Halloween. So it's it's yeah. a great excuse to have something that, that people will enjoy. Uh, I want to make a mention on the sound box cars. This the uh, the Polar Express. We've got uh, another one or two coming up down the line here. Um, these will operate on any layout. Uh, there's an on off switch, but all you have to do is put it on the track and you're good to go. So uh, DC DCC, not a problem with the sound cars. You don't need to do any programming. Uh, just set it on the track and uh, you're you've got your sounds. And then uh, for the sets, because I saw some questions coming through in the chat, um, the locomotives in all the sets that you see here uh, can be controlled conventionally, uh, or you can use the uh, Lionel uh, Bluetooth Lion Chief system that's included. Uh, they come with a remote where you can also download a free app uh, and run the train with the app. Uh, there's all sorts of great features you can uh, access on that app, including uh, changing sound volumes and uh, features like that uh, there's even a uh, a talk feature voice command feature so you can just talk to your phone and the train will respond uh, and then they are also uh, equipped with dcc so if you have a digital command control system and want to run this with your nce or your digitrax whatever it may be uh, you can program this just like a regular dcc locomotive the decoder is already built into that board um, and all that electronics is on a board that attaches with a standard a uh, nine pin DCC uh, connector. So if you want to swap out the board for a different brand of decoder, very easy to do so uh, in these locomotives. And they give you a lot of, lot of control options. 
Uh, but when we take these to the shows, when I take these to the shows, I usually just use the app, uh, and you can use that on a DCC layout. Uh, but we just keep it on the Bluetooth, and then uh, I'll either give the kid a remote if you if he's been there for a while and looks like they can they can handle it, or uh, sometimes have them talk to the phone and, and give the train commands, and that always gets the story out of people too. So you can have a whole lot of fun with these sets. Mm -hmm. Very neat. All right, moving on into Christmas. Um, some of these items are returning, uh, such as the the sets that we've got there. But um, the Christmas Express HO set um, has just been a year over year favorite. So we thought we needed to add some um, additional cars to that. So you have a baggage combine and diner car as well um, to match your existing uh, Christmas Express set. And all these, the passenger cars are all LED lighted. Isn't that right, Megan? Which they is are, nice and they're, they're, they um, include the, the flicker free technology as well. So. Um, You'll always get that consistent lighting on it when you're going around the track. Mm -hmm. And that, is, you know, Ryan was talking about the different operating systems, but just for anybody wondering, it is regular HO. These have metal wheels. They've got knuckle couplers. You can mix this equipment in with anybody else's HO. And it's a fun thing to do. It's a great way to bring, you know, some of the younger hobbyists into the railroad is to run something like this on grandpa or dad's or whoever's, you know, model railroad. And, I love running them all the time too, but it's neat stuff. And that Berkshire is one of the finest running locomotives in HO. And and these uh, starter sets now come with the fast track HO, or is it? They okay. do. They come with the HO fast track, so really easy to snap together and get started cool. from right out the box. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Continuing the fun of the Christmas stuff, and probably I think one of Ryan's most favorite cars that we have ever done, we have the Christmas sound box car. The graphics on this um, trip in our uh, creative department did just such a beautiful job with the deco on the sides of this car. Um, so again, you're going to have the Christmas music playing on the loop, um, and then the really wonderful graphics on either side here. Mm -hmm. Quite honestly, I think you guys may be the first for Christmas sound box car in HO. I, I, I don't think, which is mind boggling. <laughs> that, that's wild. Um, it, it's gorgeous. It's, it's really nicely done. Um, gorgeous. Really, really well done. All right. Moving on to the Santa Fe set. Um, again, this is a returning set that that needed some uh, add-on coaches for those. Yeah, who we, had can we go? Bit. I'm sorry, Megan. Can we go back to the Christmas stuff again? Sure. Okay. Um, I believe there's a Christmas box car that's dated. Oh, good call. Yeah. Yes. Um, this was actually shown um at the beginning of the year in in a different catalog, but we do have the 2024 Christmas box car. Again, the 2023 yeah. Christmas box car came in and went out so quickly it's definitely a collector's item yeah, um, yeah. and uh, we'll continue the series every year so for 2024 got this really great fun scene with the snowman and the reindeer and again it will have the date on it year over year yeah I, in the o gauge trains that is the number one selling car the uh, dated christmas car it's just People buy them year after year. It's staggering amount of numbers for that. And I, I, I think it's the same thing is going to happen with the HO because once you put a date on it, it relates to something, something special that happened that year or this or that, uh, children, grandchildren, whatever. It's. Uh, but last year, did it have a date on the car? or? Yes. Did okay. I don't remember that, but uh, but I remember this in the catalog having a date on it. So this is going to be uh, so they've actually done very well for HO. Um, I, every time we we kind of sell out uh, every year, and it's um, uh, people have been clamoring for it. Um, mm -hmm. so a lot of excitement over that. They're great, great fun stuff. And I tell you, all the stores that need like uh, window displays and stuff, this stuff is perfect, perfect for it. Mm -hmm. And all yeah, this it really is does make tooling. a great gift too. Mm -hmm. This is all new tooling as well. I don't think we've mentioned that yet. That all of this rolling stock, what the I think the 2023 boxcar 
did sneak out, I didn't get one. I mean, that's how yep. rare or how quick that sold. I don't yep. have one. Yep. I don't know how it happened, but somehow I did miss it. But I, I got one for you, Tony. I got one. The box car and the the work caboose, the gondola, all these are new tooling that we've not seen in HO before. Isn't that correct, Megan? That is correct. Yeah, we've got the all new tooling um, for all the pieces of rolling stock. You know, they're weighted. They feel really good. The graphics on them are great. The doors slide really nicely. Like it, these these cars ride really smooth, and I think everyone's going to enjoy them. Mm -hmm. And then what the passenger cars for this, this new catalog, you've mentioned this on some of the other sets, but what there's three new body styles here that we're adding this year, baggage, which is in the center there, a combine, which has got a baggage door and a seating area at the back, and then up top is a diner. And then as Ken Sr. mentioned, there's the OBS and the coach comes in the set. So you're up to five, if my second grade math is holding out for me, that uh, five different heavyweight cars available now for this set. These are neat little, they're kind of shorty. What are they about 70 foot? Maybe I think if I remember right. And they've got the, the interior print for the, the window sections and lighted. These are nice, nice, neat looking little cars. Yeah. They're, they're actually even a little shorter. They're probably closer to about a 50 foot car. They, yeah. they're, they're the Santa Fe is kind of a neat one because they actually had some of those really short little branch line cars and these are, very evocative of, of that service. Uh, but we wanted to keep uh, these sets uh, very small layout friendly. Um, our sets all come with a 20 inch radius curve in there. These will easily run on 18 or probably even 15 inch radius curves without any problem. Um, and with passenger cars, you know, the market's a little more limited there in HO is uh, most passenger cars were 72 to 85 foot. <laughs> Uh, and they, they get a little rough on those tight curves. But these are very small layout friendly or under the tree friendly uh, passenger cars. Yeah, and we've got some, again, some existing sets that, that we've already previously offered, but wanted to make sure that we threw some additional rolling stock at it so people could keep adding on. Um, you know, new tooling for us, we have the, the steel, deck, steel Deck flat cars making their debut in this catalog here. Um, you'll see those in, in uh, uh, the next few pages here. Um, but really nice to be able to continue to introduce some new stuff each time. And uh, the steel deck black cars, uh, the, the detailing on those came out really nice. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, all, there, we talked about all the special cars, but in collecting stuff, I love some of these interesting, like this gray and red cotton belt paint scheme. There's a lot of really fun paint schemes on this box car, the reefer, the flat car gondola. So as we go through these, these grab my attention just as much. I think that's when I first emailed Ryan on this catalog when it hit, I'm like, oh, I love all the mix of like this US steel flat car and then it's fun to see some of these kind of releases as well too. Yeah, Ryan does a great job of picking out just these wonderful different paint schemes and stuff that's gonna be bright and fun, but you know, um, this is stuff that people collect and want to continue adding on to their layouts as well. So if, if you're a fan of a particular road name, you're going to have uh, the opportunity to pick up pieces in this catalog as well. Yeah. The uh, flat cars and the gondolas are probably the most interesting cars. Everybody needs an army of them. And anytime I open up a magazine and I look at people's layouts, I love the stuff that they put on it. It, they get so creative on all these loads and junk and stuff. And they, it just, uh, the, the imagination runs wild when you got a flat car or a gondola. They're never two the same. Never two the same. Yeah, it's always fun to see what people come up with, whether it be a load or something that they're filling on their gondola. The, the amount of things that I've seen on layouts lately, and, and Ryan does a really good job of modeling that. Um, it's really impressive, and uh, the HO community does a really great job of um, putting all this stuff together. Yeah, yeah. Showing off some licensed products on these pages here. Um, for the first time in HO with us, we have the Justice League uh, bringing DC into the mix um, on our Warner Brothers lineup. You know, this features all of the characters from the Justice League, and um, we hope that it will continue as a successful series. 
uh, kick off a successful series of all the different characters um, for DC, like Batman and Superman, mm -hmm. uh, Wonder Woman. Um, and uh, Batman is actually celebrating his 85th year this year. So uh, we have the 85th anniversary box car for Batman this year. Hmm. Um, probably one of the coolest cars um, I've ever seen with just the really cool, like, um, Batman classy deco on those, the the yellow and black and just uh, really making it feel like it fits into the, the Gotham City world. Mm -hmm. And quite honestly... Go ahead, Ken. You you got to love and give credit to Lionel to always try to keep the, the hobby alive and to get new, you know, uh, any kind of generation with everybody knows Batman, obviously, but the even just the younger generation to really try to attract and, and get everyone new faces into the hobby. Everybody says, oh, the hobby's done, the hobby's done, but you got to give credit to Lionel because they always are trying to to come out with new ways to attract uh, a, a, a new vibrant audience. And um, the, the hobby is not dying. It, it is still thriving. So um, a, a big uh, kudos and credit to you guys for now doing this in HO scale, which no one's really done in HO scale. I mean, th this is a completely new market and, uh, and uh, target market for HO scale. Yeah. Like Kenny, when, when me and Tony would talking uh earlier the uh and back in the day when we were young we were kids it was Tyco made this license stuff oh, yeah. and and i believe i believe they made a batman also the original batman so you try and find those original Tyco stuff today it, they'll get a premium for it i remember the uh frosty uh frosted flakes and kellogg's <laughs> and uh jello <laughs> it was just great looking cars great looking cars and, yeah these these comic book ones i mean yeah official collector alert because yeah. you have that group that ken <laughs> senior's talking about was cataloged in 77 and 78 there's batman wonder woman superman and shazam after uh -huh. the set i get more emails where people find one or have heard of them how many were there what were they they were extremely popular. So, yeah, if you don't get an order in for these, you'll yep. be one of those folks emailing me in however many years saying, when did this come out and how do I get one of these? And it's like, yeah, should have they? Yeah. These are <laughs> big time hot. It I'm sounds really like there should be a, a HO collector magazine or something out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Future collectibles. It's still part of collecting. That's it. Yeah. Well, we, we went to Comic-Con in New York last year for the first time, and the reception from all of the fans there for Lionel was uh, really, I mean, we, we were hoping it would be great. It was it exceeded all of our expectations for uh, for the results of that show. We'll be, uh, you know, we'll, certainly won't be our last time there. And uh, it's it, there's a, a huge crossover in interest between uh, the Lionel trains and the the heritage of this brand. That's 125 years next year, and so many of these other franchises uh, that to see the crossover was, uh, was and the the, the enthusiasm uh, yep. and exuberance for these these products was was really a uh, quite rewarding and it's uh, some of us you know like like me i'm you know i love them because they're trains and i love the train aspect of it uh but to to, to branch out and bring our hobby into other people's interests uh, it, it serves uh, a, a different purpose and it's a whole lot of fun so mm -hmm. uh, we've made efforts to to make the graphics on these uh, as realistic as we can and as accurate as we can for each of these properties uh, but also to make sure that, uh, you know, these cars will also perform as well as they look. So you, as, as Tony mentioned earlier, you know, metal wheels, uh, metal knuckle couplers, we put weight in these cars so they will stay on the track well for you. Um, opening doors on the box cars and reefers. Uh, most of the details are molded on for good, easy handling and, and reliable performance, uh, but they are a much finer level of detail than uh, some of the uh, other tooling that we've used recently, uh, you know, uh, least tooling from recent production, a uh, much higher level of detail on these so that if you're building a large fleet of cars, whether it's uh, Acme or Central New Jersey uh, boxcars, you know, they'll look great in your train and run well. And uh, whatever your, your passion, uh, we hope that we have a product that can meet your needs. Mm -hmm. 
Well, after the show, I want to talk to you, Ryan. I have an idea for a crossover type of a uh, uh, item product, and I I think it'll be a home run without a doubt. Mm. <laughs> All right. Ryan definitely touched upon just how great um, these particular pieces, especially with the Looney Tunes are, of um, kind of marrying those railroad details with a licensed item. Um, these Acme cars have been really fun to put together. And, you know, Ryan always says he's just going to sneak, like they're really good to just kind of sneak one into your consist and uh, let people kind of discover it as it goes by. Um, but all these really cool Looney Tunes and Acme graphics, um, you know, this is all stuff that, that people may have seen when they were kids and to be able to like get that little chuckle as it goes by, um, it is really exciting. Um, and the, the Looney Tunes items have done really well and I expect to, to continue on with these um, and more catalogs to come. Mm -hmm. Great stuff, great stuff. Yeah, I mean, as we talk about licensed items and we talk about what does great for Lionel, anytime that we partner with um, licenses that just have just a, a big following or a really good feel good moment or some someone that has just an iconic uh, history with them. The the people on these two pages um, come to mind as just just heroes and historic figures and you know people to look up to. Um, so it's exciting to to be able to bring Bob Ross and Mr. Rogers into the HO world. Mm -hmm. um, we got to have a little fun with it for um, the Bob Ross Happy Little Trees gondola. So taking our gondola with the tree load and, you know, being able to have his his little happy little tree farm. Um, just those fun little touches. Uh, you know, we had to pay tribute to the man himself with his uh, wonderful paintings. Uh, Bob Ross is just the kind of guy that made you feel like anyone could pick up a paintbrush and learn. Um, had that real soothing voice and that real iconic look with... Um, his, you know, Afro and just how fun he was and how soothing is what he was. So to be able to have him on a boxcar with his art and his kind of words of encouragement, um, I think they they came out really nice. Exactly. Same with Mr. Rogers, you know, again, uh, an, an iconic man in his own right. Uh, we have the two boxcars here celebrating, you know, the two parts of his, his show. We have the neighborhood of make-believe boxcar with all the characters from the neighborhood. Um, as well as the neighborhood boxcar. So, you know, the moments that you m remembered and known and loved from the Mr. Rogers television show, you know, him putting on his sweater or getting his shoes on, um, was really fun to, to, to do these uh, images here on this car. And again, when you think Mr. Rogers, you think bright and colorful. Um, you know, it, it's a show that I watched as a child that many people watched as a child. And to be able to honor him and do these boxcars, um, I think they came out really well. Yeah, uh, great stuff. Great stuff. Great ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, my life track said uh, he he loves that you made Mr. Rogers, but he he also wants uh, Won Wonka cars. <laughs> yeah. mm. It's a great suggestion. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure Megan is taking notes. <laughs> All right, moving on. Um, these are some returning items that have been cataloged previously, but we do. Um, we did start the, the Budweiser uh, reefers and boxcars. Um, so I expect that you will see more of these. Um, we try to hit all the different Anheuser-Busch and Budweiser images. Um, really great cars with um, vintage look and feel to them. Uh, we all clearly have to show off the Clydesdales. We have the, the military heritage um, can reefer, which was um, a art that was taken off of a can that they distributed during World War II. Um, you have the This Bud's For You with the, um, you know, the iconic can art, art on it, or obviously the the known and loved malt nutrient um, reefer as well. Um, we also have the HO kits. Um, I suggest going on to Lionel.com and uh, taking a look at um, the, the catalog. It's got the videos for those. Um, so each one will give you like a um, 360 turnaround of all the kits there. Um, you're only limited to what your imagination can come with on these. And they're really easy to put together um, with just some, you know, small weathering, whatever level you are. These kits are fun to, to put together. Yep. The beer garden is a bestseller. I had to reorder that like four times, the beer garden. <laughs> Very cool. That is, uh, that is probably one of my favorite kits of the bunch. Um, it has so many it looks so simple yeah and it's not 
not a hard build at all, but there are so many little details in that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all the little chairs and tables and bottles and cups and saucers. I mean, it's uh, just, uh, you know, all the play settings are there for, for everything. All you really need to add to that are some figures, and you've got a fun little uh, scene that, that can very uh, shiftable, too, right? Everything's in small pieces, so you can make it linear. You could have it as sort of a, you know, set up tables on, on your sidewalk cafe or shape it to fit. Yep. Uh, you can you can fit a variety of little spots depending on how big your layout is. So yeah. um, it, it's really a fun one you're going to want in your foreground uh, with, with just a ton of detail potential. And what's great about these bud cars, there's one for every generation. Uh, I, I, I probably <laughs> most uh, remember that this Bud's for you uh, growing up. That was like the biggest commercial going. And uh, but I, I'm sure people are nostalgic about the these retro uh, Anheuser-Busch and Budweiser. Just really beautiful artwork. Very cool. There's lots of people that collect like just the Clydesdale merchandise themselves or um, you know, have a bar where they might have the, the train running either on their ceiling or um, mm -hmm. on a table in their bar room. Um, so really fun to see how people show off all these collectible cars. And these kind of collectibles, and it goes the same for like the DC Comics things. These you run into, like there's been Budweiser and that kind of stuff done years back in HO. But you have a competition thing that I don't think a lot of train folks realize where they'll say, why is that so hard to find? It's like, well, because not only are you as a train person trying to collect these Budweiser cars, but there's beer collectors that somebody's yep. putting yep. that up with there. So these are things you don't want to miss on because you're going to have competition from, you know, people that this may be the only train piece they have because they happen to collect Anheuser-Busch. So yeah, any of these that have kind of that cross thing can be really hard at times to find. So excited to see these come out. I love that distribution center and, that can't be right. Thirty four ninety nine is that a typo in the catalog? It is. Okay, <laughs> that's way too much of a kit for that. I've seen that, and the, all those kits are so nice. But that is that's a tremendous piece that you could do so much with because it's a nice transloading, you know, center that you bring the rail up to one side. You have trucks on the other, so that whether you don't use the Anheuser Busch stuff or not is a great kit for just regular things. Having grown up in St. Louis, so that Anheuser-Busch on the side and everything, that would be very cool on my layout, I think, yeah. If, yeah. I, if I have a bought one of those, have I bought one of those, Ken? I know you're working you, on the website. I think I can see my orders better now. <laughs> you bought one been, of each of everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually how it's easily found. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Uh, let's go back to the beer one second. The um, On these, you got four beer cars. Make two more and then make a special six-pack. You know, in a box where you get the six-pack. That's yeah. it. And, and Tony's also going to start a new magazine, the Steins Collector, for all the, the beer Steins <laughs> collecting. And, and then you compare it with the uh, the Budweiser trains, the collectors. Very cool. Great idea. We've been having a, a lot of fun um, kicking off all kinds of different series. And one of the ones that we were asked about a lot was, you know, just the Americana, the red, white, and blue stuff. And uh, probably one of my favorite cars in this catalog isn't actually a licensed piece. It's this Liberty Eagle rail car. Um, mm -hmm. Again, shouting out Trip in, the, in our creative department again. Um, just came up with a really fun patriotic scheme with that eagle on the side. It's, it is probably one of my favorite cars with all mm -hmm. the, the gold, the red, white, and blue. And again, one of those ones that you can kind of, you know, doesn't really exist out in the real world, but something that you can slip into your your layout there and mm. people can see it as it comes by and go, oh, that's really cool. Mm. Um, right. We do have the American Pie Reefer, the USA Work Caboose, and then the Civil uh, Defense Box Car. Again, all returning items um, that were featured in, in previous catalogs. But again, I really did want to highlight that USA Reefer because I just think it is one of the, the nicest deco themes I've seen um, in a long time. And I love it very much. Yeah, I think that would work well with the guys that run uh, the uh, rivet counter guys that got to have prototypical. That will fit right in with this. Right? <laughs> and the the uh, the civil defense actually did very well. Yeah, um, yeah. A lot, a lot of people like the civil defense. And that one should be showing up here uh, in our warehouse probably as soon as next week. Mm -hmm. uh, so Train World and, and Tony, you'll be getting 
getting your orders in here pretty soon for a lot of these. So even if you think like, Hey, I've seen some of these before you have, and you'll be, if you've ordered them, you'll be getting them really soon, which is okay. nice. This is kind of a nice, nice timing on things. Mm -hmm. Just in time for election year. <laughs> and we've been talking about just the great printed graphics um, on all of the different box cars. Um, and one of the things we, we noticed with those great printed box cars was a way to do um some weathering a little mm -hmm. differently than has um been done before you know for for those people who maybe want to have a little uh weathering weathering detail on it um we've got the printing on both sides of these cars here as well as on the side of the box car as well this is a really great way to add some extra detail um get that graffiti printed on it um i'll let ryan kind of speak to these pieces a little bit but um, the stuff that we've been doing with the EV printing is going to lend itself really well to this kind of decoration on the sides of the cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've, we figured that if we can use the, the quality of the printing to do uh, you know, photo quality of uh, superheroes and everything else, why not photo quality uh, actual train cars? And so that's what you'll, you'll sort of have here. Now, if you're a person who loves to weather and age rolling stock, hey, yeah, you can always take these a whole another level uh, but this gets you really a uh, good long ways along uh, long way to get there and if, if you're happy with them the way they are they're going to look great on your layout mm -hmm. uh, these are um, all based on uh, prototype photos uh, that we found uh, and then scaled down and manipulated to fit uh, our tooling uh, some of them you'll see a variety of different rust streaks patch outs of course the graffiti uh, and we've had a lot of fun recreating those details so that uh, whether you have these passing in a train or some of these uh, like the Penn Central and the BNO cars are ones that were, you know, the photos were something that was sitting in the back of a yard somewhere, probably as a storage shed for years, uh, survived well into the Conrail and CSX uh, eras uh, for these roads. So it's, it makes a neat little piece to have in your yard, uh, nice conversation piece that you can have sitting in there uh, without having to do all of the the fancy detail work yourself if you're not up to that uh, that type of thing um, really neat cars really fun um, megan had some fun with the graffiti and things too she threw a little bit of a home hometown touch in on the the ac and y car uh, but i'm looking forward to these and hoping that uh, you all enjoy these as well and uh, this could be a growing definitely be a growing series for us just like the other uh, fun uh, deco that we do Very cool. I, my father was actually very excited about the these because it's very unique. Nobody's really done a lot of graffiti in HO, um, and it's something new, different. And like Ryan said, you could really take it to the next level. We actually sell like uh, weathering kits, like powder, uh, and um, that you could easily put it on to these cars, and they're going to look really dynamite. Um, I'm sure Ryan on his uh, work back bench Wednesday could do a, a demonstration on this, but uh, it, it, I, I think a lot of people are going to go really crazy over it. Yeah, you can definitely go further with it, or the best part is you don't have to. If you're a person who likes, who always liked the look of weathered cars, but just never thought you had the talent to do it, here's a great way to, you know, get it with, with zero effort. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can also promise you, you, you've got more talent than you think. You know, like Bob Ross would tell you, you <laughs> don't be afraid to make some happy little accidents there and give it a try. You'll never know until you find out. But uh, Red's the devil, right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we also have some great uh, boxcars in more conventional schemes that are still nice and clean as well. Uh, you see a variety of them here with, uh, again, different door styles and so forth. Uh, some of these are coming back uh, again. We'll be delivering here shortly. We have a few new uh, deco schemes here as well. Uh, the prototype for this car is the, um, the Pensy X29 slash uh, AAR standard box car. Um, so these were found on a lot of railroads uh, all over the country in you know minor detail variations and so forth. Uh, so there's no shortage of prototypical paint schemes we can put on this this tooling as well. Well, the state of Maine is going to sell very well. I don't know if it's because it's state of Maine or it's just red, white, and blue. It always sells. Always. It's, yeah, but it's just one of those paint schemes that, uh, you know, I, I think it just it jumps out in any train. Mm -hmm. It's patriotic without, uh, you know, without having to try. It's just there. Yeah, right. <laughs> and in a sea of boxcar red, I think those things really jumped out and, uh, and look great. Mm-hmm. 
Tony, Tony, is there anybody in HO that makes that coloring and you know, state of Maine, red, white, and blue like that? All those state of Maine cars have been, yeah, there's been tons of those over the years. In fact, I think I had somebody send me an article where he was trying to put together every company that's ever done them back to the beginning of plastic. And we just couldn't, we still are trying to put the whole list together. But as you say, there's a reason there's so many. That's always been wildly popular. I just don't remember any in present day, anybody making it. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. so it'll do well. It'll do well. Uh, again, some more, more box cars, and then also our work caboose. Uh, this is a fun little piece of tooling, great for a work train, or again, more more fun stuff to have sitting around the yard. Uh, you've got great options for adding some details here to the, these cars as well, too. So be a fun one to grab one of these and and trick it out a little bit. The uh, the new steel deck flat cars. Uh, Megan mentioned these uh, earlier in the program. This is uh, newly introduced in this this uh, spring catalog, um, based off of prototype drawings we found in the 1918 Car Builder Cyclopedia. Um, it's got a, uh, a steel deck that has sort of T rails on it. Uh, this was uh, the original prototype was built for a steel company uh, for use in uh, steel mill service. Uh, so we've we've duplicated that on some uh, some popular steel and industrial uh, and lumbering names here. Uh, great sort of workhorse car for you steel mill modelers out there. Uh, you know I think this is a great starting point again to do some some cool details. Um, rust one of these up, throw some ingots on there or uh, some bar hot bars, and uh, could be a lot of fun. Again, those cars in the in steel service lasted, you know, well beyond where they probably normally should in regular interchange use. So uh, a lot of fun potential on these and a great platform for more detailing and development. Uh, and of course, we also then have our, um, our uh, wood deck, more traditional looking wood deck cars as well, which uh, have some, you know, as, as uh, Ken Senior was mentioning, Flat car is like a blank canvas. You can put whatever you want on there, and uh, it can instantly become one of the most attractive cars in your train. Mm -hmm. That steel deck that you, I don't think I've ever seen that as a ready-to-run mm -hmm. car, Ryan. And I, I, I know you're a HO historian or big into all that stuff. I, that's such an interesting prototype. I don't think I've ever seen it done. And I saw someone in the comments mention they collect anything Westinghouse, but all four of those names are interesting. The West Side Lumber, of course, people know from the lumbering stuff, the Carnegie Steel and the Bethlehem, all four of those, it's a neat car and they're all very kind of exotic or, you know, road road names, paint schemes. We don't see that much. So fun all the way around on that. Yeah, I think this one, this one will be, a, be an interesting car and definitely it will look a little bit different than the other stuff you have running around on your layout. You will notice that uh, the detail on the deck uh, is, is very nicely done. And uh, for, you know, an inexpensive rate to run car, especially and uh, well weighted. So even if you want to run and run these cars empty, they're going to track just fine because we've got a, a big weight hidden inside the uh, the deck there. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I plan on getting a few of these and coming up with some fun, fun loads for them. Mm -hmm. Uh, gondolas as well. Uh, we've done uh, previously. We offered some of these with the the pipe loads and the tree loads. Uh, for this round, we also have a few just good old empty gondolas. Uh, you know, I'm sure the Strasburg one grabs a lot of people's attention. That's based off of a, a car the railroad had uh, in the early days of their uh, excursion trains. Uh, it was the, the one of the first open air cars that they they had, and the, the paint scheme is based off of that. Uh, I don't know that that car has been done in HO. Well, maybe not even in any any gauge uh, to that level uh, just yet. So it's a, a really neat piece. I'm sure that'll do well. You can just glue some figures in there uh, uh, for, for an, an interesting looking load. Uh, we've got some great maintenance of way and, and other road names as well there to fill with ballast or ties or you, know, you name it. Uh, some, some really good stuff on these cars. And, you know, all these, you, you had mentioned that we've talked about the metal wheels, the knuckle couplers. These are good quality models. They're interesting models. They have unique paint schemes, but you just touched on the value on these. $32.99 retail is kind of typical. They retail around $30. And I know Train World, of course, have a better price than that for you. But even at $30 in today's market, like that gondola with the, the pipe loads and such, they're a great deal. 
I mean, mm -hmm. for for being unique and interesting cars, what price wise you take a double take at it that it's like, oh wow, really? That's all. Mm -hmm. I I know we could make we could make these cars cheaper if we put plastic wheels and plastic couplers on there and and shaved off some of the weight, but you know I remember when I got started in the hobby and it was a lot of fun. But it, it, derailments are never fun, whether you're getting started or <laughs> been in it for forty years. And so we wanted these to be a, a car that you know was was rugged enough that a beginner could handle it and affordable enough for a beginner to get get around it but also going to be reliable enough that it wasn't going to give you troubles. And that was really the, the goal with, with this line uh, to make it, make it foolproof. So you have, you can enjoy the train and, and grow with it instead of fighting with it all the time. Mm -hmm. oh boy, that's from the ground up that the track system, you know, I know we've talked about that offline before and I've sent, I've had people asking about new sections or new things for that track system. It's great. The Bluetooth and the lion chief control stuff is wonderful. I told you that Burke, operate so well you know it's this is all price nice there's great starter sets but you don't have that worry of well but will it be good enough is it going to be durable is this something that's easy to put together and can somebody run it that's not you know a real seasoned model railroader and boy this just checks all the boxes this mm -hmm. stuff looks good runs good and like I say from the track up you guys have designed a wonderful ho product line yeah All right, keep them going with some more of the prototypical road names. Uh, some new paint schemes on our uh, reefer model here. Um, from mm -hmm. East Coast to West Coast, you could put yourself a whole nice cut of uh, fruit or uh, meat cars together here, whether it's a block or a full train uh, to run behind your steam or diesel power. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of great fun uh, new road names here. And then highlighting some of the um, HO kits that we've got coming for you. Um, we have the Front Street 100 block promo set. Um, you can get them all together. Um, as a bonus, you also get a figure pack with that. Or if you'd like, you can purchase each building separately. Um, so many different things that you can do with these. They include um, the, the paper decals in them, um, all kinds of different options and configurations. You can turn these into um, some really stunning pieces on your layout. Mm. Who does the painting on these things, Ryan? Uh, on the ones you're looking at here, I built. Uh, Megan has done a few of these. We've had some other uh, folks from around the office uh, do some kits. Um, and the great thing about these kits, we talked touched on a little bit with the, the Anheuser-Busch models. Uh, they're molded in different colors. You can glue them together, follow the instructions, have a building together in probably an hour or less uh, that will look decent and uh, and be a nice little you know building on your layout. Uh, not very difficult to build at all. But if you want to spend a little bit of time, um, all the paints that I use on these were I, you know inexpensive craft paints that you can uh, go to any you know, big box store or craft store and buy. I'm sitting at my workbench right now. So I've got piles of these things uh, lying around here. In fact, that's what I'm using to hold up the camera. So I'm surprised it hasn't fallen over yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, take a little bit of time. There are lots and lots of videos online. Uh, we've done a few with Lionel. You can go to Lionel.com uh, okay. or, or social yeah. media and see some of the Workbench Wednesdays uh, where I've done some of these. There are other uh, actual, you know, people with actual talent who've done some things online okay. uh, that you can follow. Um, and and that's when it becomes a lot more fun because, you know, with all due respect to the, the ready-made buildings and things like that, hey, that's great. If you want something quick and put it on there, that's fine. But when you can do it yourself, you can make it your own and it won't look exactly like the same building on everyone else's railroad. And it gives you a source of pride. Uh, and these kits are also ones that uh, very easy to modify and, uh, and do things too. I've, I've got a few of these on order. Some of them end up being five story buildings. Some of them end up being one story buildings, uh, you know, move pieces around uh, the, the three story buildings there, the uh, barber shop and the furniture store, they come with complete interiors. Uh, mm -hmm. Lots of interior details, exterior details for the sidewalks. Um, what you see there actually isn't even all the details that come in these kits. Uh, so much that you could easily spread them out over the rest of your layout as well. 
Uh, there's a lot, lot, lot going on in these. You can position windows open and closed, doors open and closed. Uh, very easy if you wow. would like to to wow. add lighting. Uh, they're designed for that uh, to be very easy. Uh, so a lot of fun on these um, and all the other kits that you'll see through here. But uh, you know, I've been doing this for a while. I really enjoy the, the modeling part of it. But it was also fun with these kits to go around the office and have some people uh, like Megan who'd never really done this before. We said, "All right, try it." and uh get a you know get over the fear that you can't do it and give it a shot and it, it's it's enjoyable and yeah. I had several people come back and say i understand it now i see how this can be a relaxing hobby i wasn't staring at a computer screen you know i was able to just sort of uh relax and create and uh when i was done i had something tangible to hold on to and, and be proud of uh, so mm -hmm. if you've never tried a kit hey if it's even if it's not a lionel kit uh train world's stock full of uh hundreds of these things pick one out and give yourself a shot at it it, it really is rewarding and, and worth a go mm -hmm. yeah. very impressive great stuff great stuff mm -hmm. yeah, we've, we've got a few more new ones here uh the the sand and water house just came out I, tony i think you pointed this out that was one of the these some of this tooling has been around for a while and that was way back in the first iteration of lion lho that was one of our kits Wow. That is, yes, that yeah. one is. And yeah, when I saw and I didn't recognize it at first. Mm -hmm. And then I was going through because I'm putting together a article on that mid 70s Lionel from 74 to 77 and saw that I'm like, wait a minute. And then started looking like, oh, wow. So, yeah, that that's the only piece in the current Lionel line that has heritage back to the 70s run. But and yeah, these are fantastic kits. That's a reason. There's a reason they're around, you know, today. Something to fit any any layout and any uh, any any era, any style. Um, our burning building is a uh, a really great one. We've got a, a, a double smoke unit uh, feature in there uh, with LED blinking lights. Just hook up two wires and put in your smoke fluid, and you're good to go. Uh, but unlike some of the previous burning buildings that have come out in the past, this thing will actually uh, smoke you out of the room if you if you mm -hmm. set the thing on high and let it go for a bit uh it, it really will pour out of the building and, and look look quite nice uh this one's always a lot of fun when we take it to shows and, and have it set up uh so if you've you know if you've seen our o gauge product and seen one of our steam locomotives with the smoke billowing out and the whistle smoke going at the same time it's pretty much what you're going to have coming out of an ho building so uh, a whole lot of fun on this one mm. yeah the level of smoke that comes out of this thing is, is pretty impressive uh, and Megan's done a great job creating some scented smoke fluid too, so you can you can have the fire smell like uh, hot chocolate if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Megan, you want to talk about our new lights? Yeah, lots of different lights here to choose from. Um, this is all new for for Lionel. We we picked you know a, a variety of different. Um, you know, whether it be a highlight light or uh, a light, you know, for um, a, a neighborhood, uh, all kinds of different poles, um, different uh, light fixtures with whether it be like a lantern or a globe. There's all kinds of different ones here. Um, what's really cool about some of these is that we're offering them in both a three pack or a six pack. So if you have a, a long area that you'd like to um, tie a bunch of lights together, you can easily do so. Um, these come with uh, resistors already included in the packaging, um, really easy traditional wiring for these, um, and at a really good affordable price as well. Yeah, the uh, the price on these is really hard to beat. I mean, you're, you're, you're talking three to five dollars a light for an LED light and these are uh this is again all new tooling for us this is not uh any of the previous lights that you've seen come out of lionel uh really nice scale detail these will be arriving here in the next week or so as well to our, our warehouse uh, i think i've got a case of each of these suckers on order for my <laughs> be, uh because you just can't you just can't beat it if you're going to do a, a city scene or a highway you you know you need a lot of these lights and uh, it's, uh we, we've got a new partner that's uh working with us in these. We've got similar models coming in in, o, in the O-Gage catalog as well. Uh, and Megan and I were just both very, very impressed by the quality uh, and at the price point. It's it's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. Really nice. And because they're LEDs, and as Megan mentioned, they've got a resistor. LEDs, these will last forever. 
-hmm. you know, you don't have to worry about burned out bulbs or that kind of thing that easy to hook up. And yeah, at the price point on them, it is a, it's, it's a really nice deal and nice variety on them too. And it's a, it's a warm white LED too. It has a nice soft, warm glow to it. It's not uh, one of those bright blue LEDs that sometimes you, you see. And I know you you had been asking about different pieces of track, and, and we wanted to bring a couple um, in here this time around. We had to definitely bring in the 90-degree crossover so you guys can do your, your figure eights or different crossover pieces. Um, so we have that in the separate sale, as well as if you've already got an existing um, Lionel HO um, train set, we have a figure eight expansion pack. So that comes with all the pieces you need to take your existing set and turn it into a figure eight. Um, again, at a really great price with everything that you need, um, really easy to install. We also have a HO fast track um, curved terminal track section um, for those who maybe want to put, put a circle layout together. Um, again, if this will plug right into the power pack that comes with the HO sets and give you a different option for how to power. It's nice stuff and easy to take care of. Nickel, silver, code 100 rail, I believe. Is that correct? Yes. On this? So, yeah, the nickel, silver conducts less electricity great. It's easy to care for. Again, you know, from the ground up, a nice, nice, nice set. And I, I like the contour and stuff on this with the molded ballast look to, to it. That It is neat stuff. And, yeah, nice to see some new variety come into to the fast track for HO. And I think and is that it? That's, that's the whole. That's the whole shooting match for this. Yeah, we got through. Uh, but don't worry, there will be more HO releases coming throughout the rest of this year. Ah. Uh, I would, I would, would expect probably at least two or three more releases throughout the rest of the year. Really? Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, uh, Megan's working on some things right now. More, more licensed items. Uh, more new tooling. Uh, people are asking for more locomotives. Yep, they're in the works. People are asking for some higher end stuff as well, and we've got a couple of things on the on the burner right now on the on the hot seat. So uh, look for more to come from that. Uh, we'll, our plan at this point is we will probably do a, a full catalog once a year with everything that has come out uh, prior to that's still available, and then as we have some uh, samples ready and exciting new things to announce, uh, you'll be seeing some more HO announcements uh, more regularly throughout the year. So it won't be quite like the O Gauge World where you you only get Christmas twice a year. <laughs> if you guys would get it, uh, get it a lot more more frequently, uh, and as we continue to grow, uh, we'll continue to kick these out um, in in short bursts and give you all something to look forward to. Um, so definitely mm -hmm. keep your eyes on on the Lionel pages and look for more fun announcements uh, to come throughout 2024 and definitely um, in the years to come. Yeah, and we uh, listed the Lionel 2024 HO. Uh, new items, and we're taking pre-orders on them now. So if you go to trainworld.com, shop by Lionel Trains, you can sort by HO, pre-order, yes. And over 100 items for Lionel HO that we're taking pre-orders. And uh, altogether, even with the non-pre-orders, uh, well over 200 Lionel HO items. So uh, tons of items to choose from. And uh, again, they are really finding their niche with a lot of different products that nobody else offers in HO scale. I, I mean, these licensed products, uh, graffiti trains, um, totally unique Christmas, Polar Express, tons of different unique items. And uh, again, they, they have a lot of new tooling that they're coming out with and producing. Um, so very cool stuff. Uh, Halloween stuff, I, I mean... They, there really hasn't been a, a, a big market in HO Halloween. Uh, not saying that there's no demand. There's probably a huge demand for this, but nobody's ever really thought about making Halloween stuff. Um, so, so really neat. And, uh, of course, the Polar Express boxcars. I mean, we've taken huge pre-orders on, on uh, these boxcars. These are going to come out beautiful. The artwork is gorgeous. And people are really excited about throwing those on their HO layout during Christmas time. Um, and again, the the licensed product that uh, Lionel is working with, a lot of great stuff. The graffiti cars, um, 
So tons of great stuff, accessories. And I, again, we have a lot of Lionel HO products. Uh, if you're not used to Lionel, uh, or if you're used to Lionel O scale, they make HO scale. So um, they, they are back in business, HO. I, I think I saw a comment about people asking for the HO uh, challengers. I think you made a, a long time ago. But um, Lionel is definitely making HO over 200 items we, we have available. So lots of good stuff um, that we have here. Um, so check it out, trainworld.com. And I want to thank Lionel so much for coming on and talking about their new Lionel 2024 catalog, as well as Tony Cook sharing his insight from Model Railroad News. Um, lots of great stuff to talk about. Oh, it's, it's awesome. I think when this catalog hit, I usually always email like Ryan and Megan with, oh my gosh, wow. But immediately <laughs> I sent an email to Ken Jr. We got to get them on. We got to get them on and talk about this HO stuff because all of it is collectible. I got to have all of it. We got it. And he's like, okay, all right, all right, Tony. Well, we'll reach out. We'll get them on. <laughs> Hey, t Tony made his uh, next HO collector edition, and it's all Lionel HO product. <laughs> <laughs> Soon to be produced. <laughs> but it's all all good stuff, and I thank you guys for coming on tonight. Um, it's always a pleasure to, and a great ton of fun we have. The uh, have fun with trains, you guys, Lionel. Put the word fun in trains, without a doubt. It's uh, You're always uh, evolving and changing and trying things. And uh, you're just, uh, you jump, you, you get more and more people into the hobby. You're, you're doing a great job and, and everyone out there thanks you, Lionel. And Tony, you're a great uh, adversary for the, for the HO industry and N scale and G scale, everything. You're just a very knowledgeable person, Tony. Mm. Good, good to see everybody tonight. Enjoy it. And yeah, looking forward to this. I'm excited this Lionel stuff landing soon, right, Ryan? We should be watching for it. Yeah, yeah very, very, very soon. Uh, shortly after the, uh, the holiday weekend here, uh, next week, I believe we have a container coming in, uh, chock full of HO rolling stock and lights and uh, uh, other other good stuff. Uh, some O-gauge stuff coming in there, too. Uh, so there should be a shipment going out to our dealers here in the very, very near future. I would say if, if it doesn't get out next week, probably the week after, uh, we'll be getting that next, uh, those, those trucks rolling on out again. Um, and so thank you to, to all of you for helping us spread the word that uh, Lionel is back in HO. Uh, we know we're not one of your, uh, you know, if you're an HO guy, we might not be one of your regular monthly check-ins yet on who's got what coming out, but, uh, Soon we, we better be uh, because there's some really awesome stuff coming down the pipeline. And uh, we appreciate you helping us get the word out. Everything that you do on all your ends, too, to, to help support the hobby. Uh, you know, we're all in this together. We all love what we do uh, and love the people that we, we do it for. Tony is, a as you said, Ken, just a, a wealth of knowledge and uh, one of the hardest working people and busiest people in this <laughs> industry. Uh, he's, he's just got so many. Uh, he's like a cook with you know 15 burners going at once <laughs> i don't know how he does it uh, i owe him a couple of things here as, as well as some, some samples so uh we, we keep tony happy uh and uh, i gotta keep working ryan because ken jr is always calling me saying hey i've got another box to send to you I'm like oh so, yeah God. yeah i know that I'd feeling too uh, I'd, retire so. <laughs> I'd retire if it wasn't for Ken Jr. Always packing up things for It's like, well, I better keep working. All the all the UPS drivers are boycotting Tony Cook's address. It's too much work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, and uh, Meg, Megan, you're doing a beautiful job with all your ideas, your color schemes, your, your just, uh, and to Halloween put all that products. together, <laughs> you're, you're very creative, very creative. Uh. Yeah, thank you guys so much. And thanks for having me. It's been a joy just being able to share all these really fun products with you guys and everyone watching. Um, like Ryan said, you know, keep your eye out because there's so much more to come. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Good. So if you're into HO scale, you heard it here on Train World TV, Lionel HO scale 2024, new products, uh, a lot of great stuff in there. And 
I, I, I tell you, they, they really are going to shake up the HO market for sure. Um, if they, they, they already have, it, it's just um, a lot of new, exciting stuff, licensed product, uh, gra graffiti weathered, um, Polar Express, Christmas, you name it, Budweiser, uh, beer, everything. They, they make it all. So it's all great stuff. We're excited to sell it. And I thank you very much to Lionel team for being on and a, a part of this live stream. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Ken Sr. Thank you, everyone. And you could get your Lionel um, HO products at trainworld.com. Thank you, everyone. And have a great night. Okay. Good night. Good night.